Hello everybody and welcome to my probably fourth Altair 8800 micro video. I have now moved to a room where you can see things as opposed to it being pitch black in the kitchen. That's the loaf of bread. Um, it's uh, midnight 40 GMT on the 14th of July 2012 and here you see a whole lot of stuff which is probably a good indication that I've been constructing something well actually it always looks like this in here yep there's quite a lot of junk around here but anyway I'll get to the point soldering station didn't have a lot of luck with that so I went back to the main soldering iron this is the soldering iron that I used to build it And one of you may recognise it. Whoops. And these are the bits I had left over, as usual. Now those are all the uh, the nuts and washers off the switches. I might put them back on again, but I had to take them off to get them on the front panel. And there it is. This is my Altair 8800 Micro, as purchased from Brill Computers on uh, some time or other, end of June, late birthday present. As you can see, the A13 and... A11 LEDs are not flush with the bezel and that is my fault because I'm an idiot and I'll just show you the the back bit here we have VGA composite video PS2 keyboard SD card power had a lot of trouble with the power supply turns out all the power supplies I had that said they were rated at 2 amps could only supply about 1 amp and they need a little bit more than that there it is basic AC adapter from something or other and I have this venerable Philips monitor composite monitor plugged into it and this also equally venerable CTX monitor that I got from Dom and it says no signal input so I will power it up and things should happen Over here you get this low res display prompting for a file name and over here you get the same thing and if I type in 8k baz dot bin ah now start address um, just leave it I think at that It's loading. Something's happening. You can see the address lights counting up as it loads. And it happens. It ha <laughs> what am I talking about? It happens. <laughs> Memory size. Now before, this was... This asked for a load address and it went crazy and everything went nuts. You just press enter and it asks for various options. Terminal width. Uh, no and there it is the AK version it looks a lot better on here doesn't it AK version of MITS Altair basic and I can type the typical notice there's only uppercase um, American key map Lex was here and 110 go to 100 run and that happens and as well as that happening you get output over here on the LEDs as the text scrolls up the screen these these terminal windows the reason for the different size terminal windows it's obviously so you can connect either a composite monitor or a TV or something or you can plug in a VGA monitor and you get you get 80 by 40 on here and I think you get let me see what is it 40 by 25 I think on this one and I'll just uh, show you something as well because the LEDs reflect the state of the Altair emulation when you press enter and it does something then the LEDs show you 
the status of the addresses and data bus and you can click stop and it does and you press it over to run and it continues I'll just pause it a sec okay I've replaced my basic Lex was here program with a simple count it just counts as fast as it can on here you can see 80 column output and on here it's wrapping because this is only 40 column it's pretty amazing this little terminal emulation in here you got a, you got a, uh, a 40 by 20 and a 80 by uh, no 80 by no, never mind <laughs> I'm getting confused right demonstrating the stop switch it stopped look run now just like with the real out air you can stop it any time and do things that I'm not I don't know yet this switch is very important by the way this here protect switch I'll explain what happens if you try and load basic with the protect switch on hang on enter file name this happens the whole thing goes completely bonkers after it's loaded this now it looks like some kind of monitor disassembler output doesn't it and that it says nothing about that in the manual and I couldn't suss it out couldn't work out why it wasn't starting and it is because I have the protect switch set up to protect and if I switch it down then it prompts me for the usual memory size so if I type 16,000 don't know why wow that's all folks for the end oops oh it's not one meter off then how do I stop it then?